your emergency made you look broadcast system. You are not purging tonight. Please return safely to your home. All weapons chosen for this year's purge will be listed somewhere around the video. And don't forget to go to Facebook and check out Made You Look by Lex and like it. Thank you for your cooperation. To start off, I'm mixing a little bit of black in with Graftobian White to make an extremely light gray. And I'm applying it with the Made You Look foundation brush. Now this mask is actually two different masks put together. So keep in mind that you're going to only paint three quarters of your face of this color gray. I'm then going to take Graftobian Black and mix a little bit of white into it to make an extremely dark gray for the remaining section of our face. Taking straight up Graftobian Black Pro Paint, I'm going to paint part of my nose black, leaving the tip of it open. I'm also going to take the same black and make crescent moon shape around my eye on the light gray side of the mask. On the dark gray side of the mask, I'm going to fill in that entire circle which is actually the eye of a skull. From there, I'm taking gray eyeshadow and filling in what is not filled in in the center of the eyes. This will give a little bit more of an effect that there is depth and this is a mask over your natural face. I'm also going to be adding the same gray right on the bridge of my nose as well as filling in the tip. To separate these two masks, I'm taking the Made You Look Detail brush and Graftobian Pro Paint in white and just drawing a white line between them. This is actually acting as the edge of the light gray mask. I'm also going to add this white in a U shape in the middle of my nose to show that there is a separation where the mask ends on my nose. Continuing to highlight, I'm also going to take this on my cheekbone on the skull side of the mask. I'm then using Superstar Face Paint in beige in the Made You Look Small eyeshadow brush to create the teeth on the skull side of the mask. Be sure to make your teeth go down further on one side only. I'm then using a fluffy brush to shade above both sides of each eye using a dark gray metallic eyeshadow. To highlight those skull teeth, I'm then taking Graftobian White in the Made You Look Detail brush and just drawing a triangle shape above each tooth. I'm also using this white to highlight the cheekbone to give it a little bit more of a separation. Going back in with the Made You Look lip brush, I'm then taking Graftobian Black and doing a little bit of shading underneath the cheekbone. From there, I'm continuing to add highlights using white face paint above my nose and then also on top of my forehead. Taking the Made You Look Detail brush and some dark gray eyeshadow, I'm then going around and in between each tooth. Keep in mind that you always want to keep a shaded line between each mask to show that one mask is on top of the other one. I'm also shading a little bit on top of the highlight that is separating the two masks to show that there is an edge on the top gray mask. I'm then using Graftobian White and the Made You Look Detail brush to add some swirly details on the light gray mask. adding some paradise paint and red to add a little bit of blood to the teeth as well as outlining each tooth in Graftobian black. The mouth face paint that's on this character is super super simple and I'm taking the Made You Look eyeshadow brush and paradise paint in red and just drawing a big huge open mouth. From there, I'm continuing to use the same brush and taking Graftobian Pro Paint in white and adding in some teeth. As well as filling the middle section in with red once again. You do not need to fill this entire section just as long as you have the top half as well as where the tongue is going to be. I'm then going back in with Black Graftobian Pro Paint and Small Made You Look Eyeshadow Brush and filling in the black areas starting at the top. I'm shading this going downward to make it appear that it is going backwards as well as outlining my uvula. Paint that entire section in black in between the uvula and the tongue. And while you're at it, use the Made You Look Detail Brush to add some details outlining around the mouth, separating the teeth, and adding some lines in the tongue. 
Going back in with the Meiji Look Small Eyeshadow Brush and Black Eyeshadow, I'm shading in between the mask and the lips. This is because the mask is actually painted over the lips, so you still want to cast a shadow that the mask is above the face paint. If you want to make your mask a little bit more detailed, you can use Mayron Paradise Paint in silver and do a little bit of outlining on your details. 